Hi, my name is Patrick. Welcome to another episode of Prague's Tour Guide. Today we'll show you the biggest, the longest, the largest structures in Prague. We'll focus on Prague's records. So let's start. So the first structure that we're going to mention is Negrelli Viaduct. Uh, Negrelli Viaduct is the longest train bridge in the Czech Republic and at the time of the construction in 1850 it was the longest bridge in Europe. It held that record until the year 1910 and it's also the second oldest bridge in Prague. The purpose of the Negrelli Viaduct was to connect uh, Karlín with Holešovice and it was also part of the route from Prague to Dresden and uh, the length of the viaduct is uh, 1120 meters. The viaduct was built by Luigi Negrilli, who was an Austrian architect who was born what's today uh, northern Italy. And uh, not only did he build this viaduct, he also contributed to the building of the Suez Canal in Egypt. Our second record is the biggest hotel in Prague and that one is held by Hilton Riverside behind me. It was built in 1991 and with 791 rooms it's the biggest hotel. It also has the largest hotel conference hall for 1500 people. Several famous people such as Bill Clinton, Bill Gates, Arnold Schwarzenegger or Manlin Manson stayed in here. So let's have a look inside. The hotel was originally called Hotel Atrium and here is why. It looks like a huge atrium. Yeah, on top of Hotel Hilton there is a Sky Lounge bar and uh, it's only open in the evening. It's a really cool place to get a nice view on uh, the surrounding area and right across the river from here we have another record which is over there there's a tennis club uh, CLTK which is the oldest tennis club in the Czech Republic founded in 1893 and also down here you can see there's an area for kayaking and in the future they plan to build uh, the first surfing wave surfing wave uh, uh, in Prague so it's gonna be a really cool place Guys, we moved from Hotel Hilton, which is down in Karlin area, to Vítkov Hill to admire the largest horse rider statue in the Czech Republic that depicts Jan Žižka. Jan Žižka was a general of the Hussite army during the Hussite wars that happened in early 15th century. And he won a very important battle on this hill in 1420 against the Crusaders. So in 1950, they decided to put the statue here. And uh, the statue is nine meters tall weighs 16 and a half tons and it's made out of bronze. It was designed by a Czech sculptor Bohuslav Kafka. Yeah, below the statue, uh, inside, behind the Czech lion, there is also a grave of unknown soldier. So this place, uh, every year on 8th of May, we celebrate uh, the end of World War II here. Yeah, I recommend to climb here not only for the horse rider statue but also for the beautiful view because from here, especially in winter when there are no leaves, you can see the entire Prague from here. Anyway, our next stop will be the tallest building in the Czech Republic. Thank you. 
We moved from Vitkov to Zhishkov and we're standing in front of the Zhishkov TV tower, which is with 216 meters, the tallest building in the Czech Republic. And uh, the building, the tower was built between the years 1985 until 1992. So it was built by the communist. And the communists, they didn't care much for religion. So in order to make space for the tower, they decided to demolish half of an old Jewish cemetery. The tower itself, you know, the first floor, which is 66 meters high, uh, has a restaurant, bistro and a bar inside. The second floor at 93 meters is the highest observation deck in the Czech Republic, so another record. From there you can see for up to 100 kilometers far. And the third floor has broadcasting technology, that floor is inaccessible. There's also a hotel, one apartment hotel inside. And uh, also notice on the surface there are statues of babies. The babies were placed there in the year 2000 by David Czerny, who's the most famous Czech street artist. Uh, they were supposed to be there temporarily, but uh, people liked them, so they decided to keep them there. If you would like to see the babies from up close, you can see them at the Modern Art Gallery at Kampa Island near uh, Sova Mills. What's also interesting is that the tower in the 2019, you know, the shape of the tower is supposed to look like a space rocket with the launch tower. And in 2019 was the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. So they decided to make a projection, light projection of Apollo 11 starting. So uh, it's quite cool. Anyway, let's have a look inside. So we came upstairs and there's a cool bar where you can have a cocktail or you can come here for a coffee. You know, it's better actually during the day because you have a very nice view from here. Uh, one time I came here for a date at night and uh, you can't see much. You see only your, your own reflection. I thought it would be a nice view and you can only see your own reflection. So I, I recommend to come here during the day. Well, anyway, cheers guys. Nazdravi. Nice. Yeah, we're now standing in front of the Prague Castle, which is the largest castle complex in the world with 7.3 hectares of land. Uh, it was founded in the 9th century and it's, uh, it was a seat of the Czech kings and currently is the seat of the Czech presidents. It is a complex of churches, monasteries, uh, palaces and other buildings that are on one hill. Inside, there's also the biggest church in the Czech Republic, so we're gonna have a look uh, at the cathedral, the St. Vitus Cathedral, so let's go. So guys, behind me you can see the biggest church in the Czech Republic, it's the St. Vitus Cathedral, with its length of 124 meters and the width of 60 meters. It is also the most important church in our country. This is where most of the Czech kings were crowned, where they got married and where they are buried. Uh, it was founded by John Luxembourg and his son Charles IV in 1344, but it was finished in 1929, so almost six centuries later. Yeah guys, if you'd like to see a more detailed tour of the cathedral, uh, we've done it before, you can check our video, uh, St. Vitus Cathedral, Prakas Interiors Part 1. So, it's quite beautiful. Another record-holding structure in Prague is the Strahov Stadium, the largest stadium in the world. Uh, the capacity of the stands is 250,000 spectators and the area in the middle, uh, there are nine football fields. It was built in 1930s, originally for an organization called Sokol and uh, they were organized gymnastics events. You know, there'll be tens of thousands of people exercising all in the same way. Uh, during communism used for a similar purpose, but it was propaganda. Every five years there was Spartakiada and then in the 90s used for concerts and since 2001 it's used by Sparta Prague so they're the ones who build the football fields in the middle and also the modern building that's a locker rooms so they don't use the stands anymore. You know if you'd like to see a more detailed tour of the stadium we did it uh, before uh, last year so you can uh, look it up it's called Strauss Stadium.
We're now standing in Namjeski Miru and behind me you can see the Church of the Holiest Heart of Our Lord. It was built in 1932 by a Slovenian architect Josip Plečnik and it holds the record for having the largest clock in the Czech Republic with a diameter of 7.6 meters. Also it's unique for its uh, architecture uh, because the shape of it is supposed to look like a, a Noah's Ark. So now we're standing in the middle of the Charles Square, which is the biggest square in the Czech Republic and one of the biggest squares in Europe. It has an area of uh, eight hectares of land and currently there's a park, which I would rather avoid, you know, there's a lot of homeless people and a lot of drug addicts, but it wasn't always so. In the past, there used to be a cattle market and even before when Charles IV founded it in 1348, he wanted the square to be the main square of Prague. However, because it was so far away from everything, the Old Town Square remained the main square of Prague and this one became the cattle market. What's worth visiting here is the church of St. Ignatius of Loyola, which was part uh, uh, the, it was part of the Jesuit college, which is now a, a, a faculty of medicine of the Charles University. And also in the back, there is the um, new town town hall. And now we'll move to Naplavka. So now we arrive to Naplavka, which is a very popular hangout spot for young people in summer. And here, the last record in this episode are the biggest windows in the Czech Republic and allegedly in the world. And uh, originally they were storages for, for wood and for other material that was transported on the river. And today they are bars, so uh, we can go for a beer. And what's really cool, you're probably wondering how is this going to open. So just wait, don't try to run through the glass and here it goes. Hey, cheers guys. Pretty strong, but good. Hey guys, I'm glad I don't have to watch the windows here. Seems like a lot of work. All right guys, so this is the end of our episode about uh, Prague's records, what's biggest and largest in Prague. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, as always, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check our website lucitours.com if you're interested in private tours in Prague and outside. Uh, thank you for watching again and I'll see you on our next episode. So take care guys.